Today we're covering downloading USGS LiDAR datasets using Earth Explorer, as is covered in Chapter 3 of the book, Working with LiDAR Using ArcGIS Desktop, which is available on Amazon. We're going to start by logging in to earthexplorer.usgs.gov. Make sure you're logged in, and you can create a login here if you don't already have one. Back at the home page, if you want to quickly find LiDAR data, you're going to click on the Datasets tab on the top left menu, and you're going to go down to the Radar dataset and expand that one. This is a little different than what you might note in the book. Under that Radar dataset, then you'll find the LiDAR. Then we're going to go to Additional Criteria, and we're going to select our state, which is Virginia, and go to Results. When I click on Results, I get a return of 100 LiDAR datasets, and the first 10 are shown here on the left-hand table. By clicking on the Footprint button, this will take me to the footprint of a particular dataset, and we'll zoom to the extent. Uh, the Browse button, the second button there, will give me a view of the browse as a map overlay. The Compare Browse is something we're going to come back to in a minute. Our Show Metadata and Browse. Um, download Options and bulk download, again we'll cover those at the very end of this tutorial. And finally I can exclude this scene from my results. If I know I don't want it, I can just take it out of there. Um, by clicking on the actual data set name, I get this metadata and browse window, which can be helpful. Um, up at the top of this menu, there's the result controls. If I click on show all footprints, it will zoom to the extent of the 10 footprints on that first page, not all 100, but just the 10 that are actually on this particular page. So I could compare where they are. You can see they're in these little colored squares. I can also look at all the browse at once. This is pretty difficult at this scale, but another option. Um, and then again, I can come up here and compare browse. So now what we're going to do is select two different scenes so we can come back up and compare them using that compare browse function. So I'm going to select my first scene and my second scene. Then I'll come back up to that top result controls menu and I'm going to go under collection on that second drop down because that is referring to the ones I selected. Go to compare. It pops up in a actually another window and I can add these different scenes that I selected to my map and it will automatically zoom to the extent. There's three different options for each scene um, from this page. I can download that scene, I can remove it as I just did here from my results, um, and I can even collapse that little mini menu. To get back to that first map we just click on home. It'll take us right back to that first page with our 10 results. I can add an item to a bulk download which will show up in my item basket up at the top or I can do an individual download under download options. This gives me three different options. We'll just try the first one here. We'll cover this in more detail in further tutorials and depending on the way your browser is set up you just click save and it should begin the download. If you're just doing one it should be fairly straightforward, pretty quick. So in this quick video we've covered using Earth Explorer to view and download LiDAR datasets as is covered in Chapter 3 of the book in more detail. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing, outreach, education, and research with funding from the America View Consortium in partnership with Virginia Geospatial Extension and GeoTED.